I have made so many Premiere Pro tutorial here on this channel but I haven't show you yet how you can edit green screen video so today let's do it here I have recorded a sample video clip and I'll put a link in the description below so that you can download the sample clip and you can follow along with me this is the video clip here you can see the video is not perfect the green screen background is not perfect it is not covering the whole video frame so let's see how you can deal with it this video have been recorded using a sony camera and i have used s log 3 video profile so whenever you are recording try to use your camera in such a way so that it records a lot of data so when you are recording the video in log profile it will capture more data and it will give you more headroom when you are editing the video for edit camera s log 3 is not recommended you can use hlg3 but let's see how you can deal with it right so this is the video clip and we're going to first make a garbage mask so that we don't need to focus on this area which is not covered by the green screen so let's go to effects control panel if you don't see go to window and then go to effects control panel and then you'll see opacity right so if you go here you'll see a pen tool just select the pen tool and then make a garbage mask around the green skin just select the area that is under the green screen right so i'm just making a wrap mask here so that is our garbage mask now we don't need to focus on the area that is not covered by the green screen right so as this video have been recorded using s log 3 first we need to color correct this video right so if you don't record the video in a lock profile you don't need to follow this step but for this video we need to first go to lumetri color if you don't see go to window and then you will see lumetri color panel here just enable it and go to basic correction and here you will see input lut select the conversion lut you will find the conversion lut if you just search on google s log 3 to rack 709 conversion lut you will get the lut right so i'm just selecting a custom lut which is made by liming i'm using liming lut just selecting that one and then adjust the brightness decrease the highlights a little bit then increase the shadow maybe this much this much now let's color correct this skin tone if i go to lumetri scope i can see the skin tone is way up to the greenish tone right so we need to compensate it with magenta color just add more magenta color here and then you can decrease the temperature a little bit so in my eyes it's looking perfect right so that is our basic color correction now it is ready to add ultra key effect to remove the green screen so when i am dealing with green screen video i don't use the ultra key effect directly before applying a ultra key effect i do some tweaks so if you go to effects panel if you search for ultra key you'll see this effect we need to use this one to remove the green screen so if i just click here to apply the effect i can sample a color when i'm sampling a color if i press ctrl or command it will sample more color so if i just click here it will select a single color but but when i am selecting this one and pressing ctrl or command you can see the eyedropper is changing the shape right so if i just click and drag it it will sample more colors now it is it is workable right so if we just change the maybe transparency and then if we decrease the highlight and then increase the shadow and then tolerance and then the pedestal we can get a pretty usable green screen effect but the problem is when you are bringing a background if i just click and drag it to the v2 track i can change the track and then if i place a background here maybe this one you'll see the hair is not perfect if i play it back the video before you read this hair is not perfect so to eliminate this what i do before applying a ultra key effect just go here and then delete the ultra key effect i tend to use a lumetri color and then i increase the color of the green screen and then i sample the green screen so how you can do that go to lumetri color effect and from here if you select add lumetri color effect you can add more lumetri color effect here and then if you go to hl cell secondary you can select the green screen color so we are just making a selection here just like that again if i select this one 
I can sample more green skin color. If I show you the selection, here is the selection and the selection is looking great. I'll increase the color a little bit more. And I'll blur the selection a little bit. Now, if I go here on this correction section and then click and drag this towards the green section, I can increase the intensity of this green color, right? And then if I go here and then if I increase the shadow and decrease the highlight luminance and maybe we can decrease the midtones a little bit we can get a pretty even green screen now let's go here on this effects panel and then search for ultra key and now apply this effect on top of your video clip and get back to effects control panel and here if you select the key color eyedropper and then press control or command to select more color now it will make your job much easier so whenever you are eliminating the green screen select the alpha channel so that you can understand which portion of your video is eliminating right so the white portion is visible and the black portion is going to be eliminated so the goal will be making the background more black or darker and making the subject more white how you can do that go to matte generation and here adjust those settings which is transparency highlights shadow tolerance and pedestal so i can just decrease the highlights maybe one or zero i can make it zero and then increase the shadow a little bit 50 is great i don't need to change it then tolerance you can just Tweak the tolerance to see how you affect the video and then you can increase the pedestal so we are getting a great key now go to matte cleanup and here you can increase the choke a little bit before doing that you can change the output select composite to see our video if i fully screen it you can see there are some green spill color here so let's soften it a little bit then add some contrast and then if i go to spill suppression so here if your subject has a lot of green spill you can increase the desaturate value for me it is looking great but if i increase the preview option you will see there are some spill color here on this here so let's increase the spill maybe 75 and then you can increase the luma a little bit maybe 33 so that's it let's view our subject if i play it back we always make a mistake when we make a green screen video now let's bring a background just download any image or video and then you can place that video or image here on this video one track so you need to put the background underneath your subject layer now if i increase the duration of the background I can increase the size maybe this much i can change the position so it is not is looking great down. because the color is not perfect so i can just change the temperature of the background layer a little bit maybe make it more cooler tone and prepare the video and you can go to effects panel add a gaussian blur effect here on your background layer increase the value blurriness which is this one maybe 10 percent so now if i play it back you will see uh, our green screen have been removed and we have placed a new background underneath our subject right we always make a mistake when we make a green screen video you can change the background if you want just place a new background and then extend it change the scale and you can add some blurriness to focus on your subject more right so this much which is we don't prepare the video perfectly so you have to prepare the video before you record perfectly to achieve the best possible result so that's it that is how you can remove green screen from your video in adobe premiere pro with the help of a effect called ultra key 
if you have more complex video then you need to use adobe after effect to remove the green screen but for general type video this kind of video you can use premiere pro to remove the green screen i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye